Hello grade 9 learners! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, ay pag-aaralan natin yung problems involving quadratic equations. So for our first example, the sum of two numbers is 24 and their product is 119. What are the numbers? Again, we are looking for two numbers. Kapag pinag-add natin, ang answer ay 24. Kapag naman minultiply natin yung dalawang numbers, the product should be 119. Take note in solving problems in different um, lessons in mathematics. So there are different steps that we need to follow. As long as we will get the final answer correctly. So but today I will be teaching you um easier steps on how you can solve the given problems. So probably we have the given representation, the equation, solution, and the answer for this kind of problem. Okay, so let's have the given. Okay, so for our given, so we use representation variables. So we use variables to represent the given. So let x This will be our first number. And then, how are we going to get the second number? It says here that two numbers is 24. So therefore, to get the second number, we just subtract it x from 24. So therefore, 24 minus x. So this will be our second number. Okay, nakuha. So, 24 minus x. Kasi kapag minus natin sa x, yung 24, yung 24 minus x, makukuha natin yung second number. Alright? And then, after that, pwede na tayo makaform ng equation. So, for our equation, the two numbers have a product of 119. So, we can write it as x times 24 minus x equals to 119. And then, to simplify, multiplication of polynomials. So, we can use a distributive property. So, x times 24, we have here 24x. x times negative x, you have here negative x squared. Equals to 119. So, you arrange lang natin siya. You have here negative x squared. Plus 24x. And then, 119, ililipat natin dito sa may left side. It will become negative 119 equals to 0. So, ginawa natin siyang uh, general form. And then, since negative yung unahan, we just change all the sign or multiply it by negative 1. So, we have here x squared minus 24x plus 119 equals to zero. So therefore, this will be our equation. And then for our solution, so x squared minus 24x plus 119 equals to zero. So, kukuhanin natin yung solution ng given equation or kukuhanin yung kanilang mga roots. So, therefore, we can use the factoring method. So, factoring general trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c. So, we have here two factors equals to zero. 
You have here x squared, x, and x. And then, our last term is positive, but our middle term is negative. So, since negative, so both factors must be negative. So, mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang number na kapag pinag-multiply ay 119 at kapag pinag-add ay 24. So, we have 17 and 7. So, negative 17 plus negative 7 is negative 24. Kapag pinag-multiply yung dalawa, that will result to 119. Then, we have our... So, equate both factors by 0. So, we have here x minus 17 equals 0. And then, the other one is x minus 7 equals 0. So, we have here x equals to 17. And then, the other one is x equals to 7. So, we have 17 or 7. So, therefore, the two numbers are 7 and 17. Ayan. So, kapag check natin yan, so, kapag nag-check tayo, the sum of two numbers is 24. So, 7 plus 17, 24. Kapag multiply, 7, and se 7 times 17, you have here 119. 